Welcome back to my platformers tutorial series. This might be the last video in it, might not be. I'm not sure. So I'm going to show you how you can do a character select screen. So this isn't very hard. I'm just going to make a screen here now which does it. I'm going to rename it to char select, let's say. And what this is going to have is I'm just going to rename this to play all one and add a new object. And I'm going to make this player 2. And I'm just going to add in the player 2 animations. And I'm going to make sure that it's all in line with the player 1. So that the walking is animation 1, the jumping is 2, falling is 3, and climbing is 4. Just so it's easier for us to change. Okay, so now I've got player 2. I'm just going to drag both of these into the scene. And make this a global object and we're going to make a global variable this will be called let's say player type and we're just going to set it to let's set it to zero then we're going to go into the events add an event I'm going to do when player 1 is clicked on, it's going to change that variable to 0. When player 2 is clicked on, it's going to change that variable to 1. There we go. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go into player here. And I'm going to make it so that when the global variable is equal to 0, then this is going to happen. When it's equal to 1, a copy of this, but just with player 2, will happen. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm going to make an event. And see if this variable is equal to 0. And I'm going to have this as a sub-event of it. And then do the same with this. But instead of seeing if it's equal to 1. So now we just need to change this. Change it to player 2. Player 2. Player 2. Right, so now this is done. We can add an action and then delete player 1, only when this is equal to 1, and same with this, but just for player 2. So now if we play it, since the variable is already equal to 0, we will only have player 1. Whereas, if I switch it, to 1, we have player 2 instead. The only reason that player 2 is not moving is because we haven't got a platformer behavior. Now if we play it, you see we have platformer 2 instead, or player 2 even. And so you can then add in all of the uh, stuff that will make a uh, go into check marks, checkpoints, do the, do the camera as well and the slime. Yeah, so now on this we're just going to make just a text to say continue, let's say. If I can spell. Okay. And now what this will do is this is just going to be like a button where if they press it then it will go on to the next scene. And so now if we play this, <laughs> they need platforms. You can either use a platform or you can disable the platformer behavior, which is what I'm going to do. So it's going to make a new event, add action, behaviors, deactivate a behavior for player one, no. 
Same thing for player two. Now if we play it, they aren't falling. So if we click this guy, continue with this guy. And instead, if we click her, continue with her now. So that's how easy it is. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. Make sure to subscribe for more stuff and have fun. Thank you.